coucou les coucous. Oh, je t'ai déjà lu. De retour à... Euh, Talos Principle. Au dernier épisode, j'ai juste promptement abandonné un puzzle et on va revenir plus tard. Comme le dit le proverbe, if at first you don't succeed, you do... Ah non, c'est un autre jeu, ça, c'est Glados. Euh, ah, tiens, est-ce que tu... Est-ce que du blabla, aller... du blabla à aller voir là-bas, ça changerait le mal de la place de mon échec que je viens d'avoir. Oh là! Mutation, Capacity et Evolution. The role of mutation in evolution is particularly fascinating. Mutation is essentially an error in the organism's central database. A variable gets changed. A piece of information is accidentally doubled or combined with another. Most of the time, the result is the equivalent of a bug, causing anything from minor problem to complete system shutdown, aka death. But sometimes the new information is functional, giving the organization the organism an advantage against the challenges it's face, in which case it has a much higher chance of being passed to the next generation. If you consider how unlikely a beneficial mutation is and how long it takes for such mutation to propagate, this process can give you an amazing insight into just how vast the genetic history of each living organism. Simultaneously, it is intriguing to consider what a major role random errors have played in the evolution of life itself. The same process that has killed so many of us, often in horrific ways, is also responsible for our very existence. Uh. From Trevor to Alexandra, EL capacity. Yeah, no worries, EL is not only ridiculous, ridiculously fast as it, it also has a bazillion tons of space, even while hosting a full copy of the archive. It'll totally be able to handle all your project data needs, assuming its output is as you suggested. I mean, the worst case scenario would be like centuries. That should be enough, right? Right? Trevor. <laughs> Evolution. Favorited by George Jameson. One of the common misunderstandings about evolution, sometimes accidentally promoted by people who should know better, it is that it is an active process. Sometimes the word evolve is even applied to individual beings, as if some invisible force had driven them to suddenly change. But the truth is that individuals don't evolve. The term evolution describes a long-term process that can be observed in an entire population across time due to Example in response to an external threat or challenge. If an individual, and if an individual, damn it, if an individual coincidentally has a trait that allows it to deal with that challenge more effectively than another, it is more likely to pass on that information to its descendants. That information gives them an advantage. So if so, over time they become the dominant model for that species. The individual experience no significant genetic changes during their lifetime, but each of them is a part of the evolution of the species. On n'a pas notre ami. Damn it, je tombe. Pas de note. Alright. Premier puzzle du monde. <coughs> Something about a star. facile à avoir Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. C'est toi qui faisais boubou? Oui, c'est lui qui s'est rallumé. Non, je vais pas me planter. Je me suis planté. <rire> je me suis replanté. Yo! Loading Milton Library Assistance. Hello again. I've been checking your response against Library Archive, and in order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me what is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? A tree heavier, a pebble is older, a tree is alive. Wait, Levic. A tree is alive? Good. Now what is the relevance between a, the, a tree and a frog? A frog is conscious, a frog is green, a frog is delicious. Conscious? Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? I have feelings. I'm rational. I'm self-aware. Nothing important. People, Frogs are people too. Might have it nothing important. Now that confuses me because during certification you indicated that personhood was best associated with human beings and by definition that rather seemed to include frogs and the like from the picture. How about we strike a deal? I'll agree that animals are every bit as valuable or pointless as, uh, pointless as human. Uh, you agree that there are some activities person are capable of th that frogs are not. Because if frogs are people, then the certification program is radically <laughs> unfit for purpose. <laughs> Very sensible. Terminology is so important. What I'd like to put to you is that you is that the important difference between you and a frog is that you are rational, you are self-aware. That is what makes a person. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively, tentatively conclude two things. A person must be rational or self-aware. A person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to resolve our problem is ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalize your existence? Uh -huh. I tend to agree with you. Though your response so far have been, little, uh, have been a little eccentric, I am resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. elusive. What is consciousness, consciousness in your opinion? Is what separates us from animal? No. Is the feeling in senses? Definitivement pas. Consciousness is what it's like to be me. Consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. It's what it's like to be me. Yeah. That hardly answered the question. What is the ordin what is it in ordinary term? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Neurons is not a word for soul. Beyond the law of physics it is a complex functional system. Interesting. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through that certification pro program in no time. In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to any conclusion. Terminating support session. All right. Hi, Jammer. Longtemps j'ai pas vu de jammer, j'aime ça les jammer. C'est facile les jammer. Je comprends comment ça fonctionne. Road of Death. Alright, toi t'exploses. Oh shush. Jamais là-bas pour l'homme.
Epitaph, Child Program version 112, Codename Samsara, Terminated Here, Logic, Program Time Now, Final Memory Dump. But I only... I was stuck. What was I supposed to? I see... I see clouds. Samsara, version 112, Progeny Program, ok. Donc 112.1, et mort, là on est rendu, Samsara 112.2. Pour me targeter ça. Après ma question, une réponse claire. Il y a deux guns là, il y a deux guns là. Ça, ça me fait mal pareil. Tu sais quand je disais que c'était simple avec des jammers, là. Ah, oh, ok, c'est beau, j'ai trouvé. J'ai une solution. Hi, Smart. On traverse. Merci. Et on passe. Yep. All right. Recording. In the time of your ancestors, oui, there were frisson. those who did not choose the path of faith. You do not need to fear their ghosts. Fear only that you may become like them. Over defense. Eh. Eh. Get over bot. Deux boîtes. All right. Third wheel. Ok, c'est pas un jammer que j'ai ramassé. Je <rire> sais pas pourquoi je pensais que j'avais un jammer.
Então eu vou chegar do bairro. Casa. Je vais de trouver le sweet spot parce que je suis capable d'avoir les deux, mais... plus tant c'est ça I see you I taste you mais je peux rien faire Mettons que je fais ça ici. me dire si seulement il y avait une boîte dans la pièce là pour laquelle je pourrais mettre mon beam par dessus là je me suis rendu compte ouais mais je pourrais mettre la boîte là puis continuer conclusion c'est pas la solution voulue ah par contre there's them rock here ah not quite roches ou des nivellations que je pourrais utiliser. La réponse semblerait être non. Si seulement je pouvais acheter les pattes de cette chose-là. Or you know, juste le foot à terre sur le côté.
Bon, ça va être tout pour aujourd'hui. <rire> Il me reste deux puzzles à faire ici. Les deux de la gauche. Remplis de frustration et de... Ah, il me manque un millimètre ici. Euh, on va se reprendre la prochaine fois avec eux autres. Alors, euh, au revoir. Et à bientôt.